Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to Songfua. Alright, I've finished the planning for the next day where I have to fight a new enemy type, the Will o' the Wisps. Okay, this is gonna be a very, very hard night. And no, that's not a euphemism. There are three waves and a hell of a lot of enemies. And, to make it worse, the Will o' the Wisps, although they only have 15 hit points, they're very resistant to all non holy personal weapons. So, the problem is, I don't want to bless any of the weapons I currently have. I want to save up money to buy better ones before I bless them. So I'm hoping that I can get through this night without having to bless them. We'll see how it goes. If these if these Will of the Wisps, Wisps are too hard to kill, I'm going to have to bless them. Just bless what I have, rather than save up money. But I'm trying to save. And since they're pretty much resistant to all traps and bait and can't be stopped by firewalls, uh, I'm just going to try to kill them outright. Just, just kill them with my melee weapon. Hopefully they're not too dangerous. We'll see. And of course I'm trying to save money. So here's how this is going to go down. Wave 1. We have two Will-O-The-Wisps. I'm just going to fight both of them right here. Pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Actually, can I put down a... Hmm, I can't uncut lumber, unfortunately. Oh well, it's not a big deal. Anyway, first wave, I'm going to kill the two Will-O-The-Wisps right here. Okay. Second wave. We have a bunch of things. <clears throat> Will-O-The-Wisp, three wolves, two werewolves, and another Will-O-The-Wisp on the other side of the map. So first thing I'm going to do is go up here. And I'm going to kill the Will-O-The-Wisp and the three wolves. Right here. At the barn. Using this bonfire. And take them out. These two werewolves will be stopped by the bait here. And then hopefully by the time I make it over here, they will then be eating this bait under this hanging net, and I could do quite a bit of damage to them. And then we have the Will-O-The-Wisp, which I'm also going to be fighting at about the same time as the werewolves. Unfortunately, there's simply no way I can slow down the Will-O-The-Wisp, because it cannot be baited, and it cannot be stopped by firewalls. So there's really nothing I can do. I have to let it go through. And just hope that uh, it's slow. Because it's going to take me a little while to defeat these to get over here. Alright, wave three. Uh, wait a minute, what, uh, what do I have this for? I have this, um, this watchtower and zipline. Which is a new item that allows me to go from here to here. Why do I have that? Oh yes, 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 that's so um, after I'm done fighting these enemies in wave two. I, instead of having to go all the way around here, I can just go straight to the zipline. And, well, zip right over there. Because again, the Will of the Wisp is going to be very fast, probably. Or, I mean, it doesn't even need to be fast, it's just... There's nothing obstructing its way, and it's not particularly a long path. So I'm going to need to get there pretty quickly. So that's what that's for. And then wave three. Um, these three werewolves, you have two here, one here. I put some firewalls so that this werewolf has to go all the way around. And this one is going the same route. And here I have a bait and a spike trap. Now the spike trap will do 40 damage to all enemies on it, which will kill any werewolf. Um, and it can only be activated if there are three or more enemies on it. So this first one is going to get there. It's going to start eating the bait, but the spike trap will not activate because there's not, not three enemies on it. Then hopefully, the bait will take long enough that these two werewolves will go on it before this one is off, and it should kill all three of them, leaving me with only the two Will-O-The-Wisps wisps, to take care of. Okay. This is probably going to be a clusterfuck. And, um, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Let the clusterfuck commence. I'm probably going to die. Like, I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to die. Oh, hello, Will-O-The-Wisp. Alright, let's hope these aren't too hard to kill. The Will-O-The-Wisp? That's why the doctor was talking about fireflies. Jack was right. He wasn't a flim-flam man. He's a wizard. Or worse. Alright. 
Okay, here we go. Okay, they throw fireballs. Shit, this is not going to go well. Okay, wow. Ah, shit. And this is a clusterfuck. And I missed. If you only have to fight one, it looks like it's no big deal. Oh shit, they, they can go underground to heal their health. Yep. Oh great! It's all the way healed! Yeah, fighting one is not a big deal. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm fucked. I'm, I'm fucked. Like, I'm just totally fucked. I took way too much damage there. Okay. What the hell do I do? I mean, the only trap I can actually use against them is the hanging net, but the problem is they can't be attracted by bait. So I can't really get them under a hanging net. What the hell? I could bless my weapon to do more damage, but... It doesn't seem worth it. How many more do I have to fight? Just one there. And two there. Mm. Huh. See... See, 20, um, how much damage does it do? 28, they have 15, so it'll almost kill them. If there's two under it, it will almost kill them. Each one will have two hit points remaining. I could try to get them under it? What's the chances of that happening, though? I don't know, um, let's try it. Let's go. At least now I know I have to dodge. God, this is going to be a bitch. I really don't want to have to bless my weapons. See, when am I going to get an opportunity to aim? I could have there, but nope, of course they... They left. Oh my god, I actually got them. I actually got them. Wow, okay. Uh, wave two, let's go. That was pretty much luck. I couldn't even see the freaking enemies. Alright, so yeah. I need, I need to fight three wolves and one will-o'-the-wisp. The werewolves should hopefully not... Yeah, the, the werewolves should be occupied. Detected. Not by the werewolf, right? Damn it, I missed. Scream. Of course, they can shoot me through trees. Alright, fuck you. And killing blow. Boom. Yeah. Okay, werewolf time. Here we go. This is going pretty well. I've taken uh, quite a bit of damage, but it's going pretty well. Damn, that is fast. Will of the Wisp just made it here. Oh, fuck. I gotta reload my weapon. God damn it. Oh, go, 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 go. Boom. Now the werewolves are going to start to take down what I'm standing on. Yeah. Alright, let's go down. 
Yeah, fuck off. Fuck. I need to take out the werewolves so I can take out the will-o'-the-wisp. I can't fight the will-o'-the-wisp with the werewolves. Damn it. Didn't mean to fight the Will of the Wisp. What the hell? Let's do it. All right, let's fight the Will of the Wisp. Okay, maybe I should go for the Will of the Wisp first. This actually isn't bad. Don't go. Oh god, damn it! I'm fucked. I am fucked. It's gonna heal. Okay, I need to use my healing potion. Come on. Okay, got one. Ah. Damn it. I think I'm going to be okay. The fucking will of the wisps are so obnoxious. Okay, here we go. Alright. And now we zip on back. Right, I think. Am I doing the right thing? I think I'm doing the right thing. Uh, no, I'm actually doing the wrong thing. I need to fight the two will of the wisps. The werewolves should be taken care of. It's okay, though. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Everything's fine. Okay, I hope the werewolves are taken care of. If they're not, I am screwed. Come on. Okay, I think, yep, yeah, 30 cents. I think I just took them all out. Damn it. Ah. Oh, and that one's healing, of course. And killing blow? Almost. Okay, there we go. Killing blow. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Just gotta get my stamina back. I'm okay. Okay, I survived the night, I think, right? Um, oh, what the? Okay, I have a waypoint for some reason. I hope it doesn't require me to fight because I'm almost dead. What I the? I beseech you, come and rescue the suffering soul. Follow me. Okay, I don't like the sound of this. This sounds dangerous, but I will follow you. I am dangerously close to dead. And that is, of course, as opposed to comfortably close to dead. Curse 
horses. I'm starting to get fed up with them. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, let's hear that fun little jaunty tune at the end of the night. There we go. Okay, level 8, sweet. It honestly it looks pretty much like you gain basically a level per night. I wonder if you get bonuses when your buildings take less damage. Hmm. Anyway, how much did I make? That actually might be enough money for me to buy that axe that I had my eyes set on. Hmm. The old chapel. No one really knows who built this old chapel deep in the forest of the Wolves Vale, but one thing is certain. It dates back long before the founding of the village. Its proximity to the... Oh god, I can't pronounce that. Mush, whatever, <laughs> reserve suggests that it was used long ago to evangelize the Amerin Amerindians? What? I've never heard that term before. Amerindi, whatever. In any case, something terrible must have happened there since the chapel and its cemetery are today in ruins. And even the surrounding forest carries the scars of an unspeakable past. Chapter X. I mean, nine. I feel him. He's speaking to me. Who's speaking to you, Josephine? The wandering soul of someone who is suffering. His pain is great and his quest is just. Be good to him, and he will be good to you in return. We're starting to have quite a few enemies. Wouldn't hurt to have an ally. I say let's repair his chapel for him. First, we'll have to defend it, and quickly. The Mycons gave us three moons before they come back. Alright, so do I actually have to, like, spend my- Oh, a tutorial movie for the explosives is now available. Do you want to watch it? Sure, but I'm going to do that off-camera, so I will be back when I've planned out the night and figured out what the hell is going on. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Well, I've got another busy night. Three more waves. Okay, so I've noticed something. It seems that the... Uh, the watchtowers and ziplines actually will stay over if they were alive last last night. You actually get to keep them. So I've added another one here that goes over to this church, uh, the old chapel. Because this is the only thing that's going to be attacked this night. Everything is coming for the old chapel, so I need to protect it. So now with this whole zipline system, I can easily go from one side of the map to the other. Kind of, you know, from up above down to kind of the bottom left and then to the bottom right. So that pretty much covers me. I really shouldn't need any more. Not yet, anyway. Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. Wave 1. Wave 1 is these three. We have three wolves, three wolves, and three grand wolves. All attacking the same place. Now, again, I'm trying to save money. Which, actually, I, I saved enough money that I was able to buy the really good axe that I was hoping to buy, which is why I'm now freaking poor. But it's okay, because I've got the King's Double Bit Axe, which is unbelievably good. Unfortunately, I don't have the money to bless it just yet, but I will next time. So yes, I saved up enough money so that I could actually buy that. However, in saving up money, that means I didn't put down very much. So what I'm going to do to fight these six wolves and three grand wolves is go beast mode, using my pretty new axe. I'm going to chop them to bits using this bonfire, and that's it. Nothing else. No traps or anything, I'm just going to chop them to bits. Hopefully my grand new axe is up to the task. Okay, wave two. Wave two is four werewolves. Two here, two here. Now I put down a firewall so that these werewolves will go this route, just like these. So they are both going to pass here. And here I've set up that thing again, where I have a uh, spike trap and um, bait. And again, the spike trap will only activate when three or more enemies are over it. So when these first two get to it, it's not going to activate. However, when these two get to it, it should. This should kill at least three and probably four. So it should kill all of them in one fell swoop. 
So that is wave two taken care of. All right, wave three. Wave three is two werewolves and a grand werewolf. Now I've just once again done the spike trap and bait thing here. Which will only activate once all three are on it. So, this will kill the two werewolves and should take the Grand Werewolf down to 20 hit points. Yeah, because it does 40, right? Yeah, I believe it does 40. So it should take, it should nearly kill the Grand Werewolf and totally kill the werewolves. So I'll just take off, uh, I'll just kill the little bit of life remaining on the Grand Werewolf and then start chopping at the Will of the Wisps. I'm feeling pretty good about this. It's going to be a little bit hairy, especially with these nine wolves, and also when I have to kill the Grand Werewolf and then go for the Will of the Wisps. It's going to be a little bit hairy, but I think I can do it. Okay, let's get to it. Make sure to equip my King's Double Axe. It would be embarrassing if I didn't. Yeah, check out the stats for this thing. This is the default axe. Here. One, one, three. This is the king's double bit axe. Five, three, five. Max damage, max range, and three agility. And I actually don't know what agility means. Does that mean it takes less stamina to use, or does it mean it swings faster? I have no idea. So yeah, this is the one that I really want to bless. I didn't want to waste a blessing on a weak weapon. I wanted to save up for something good. So next order of business for my money is bless the king's double bit axe, and then after that, buy me a new musket, because this thing sucks. It blows. And unfortunately, it doesn't blow in the good way. Alright, here we go. Oh. Cutscene with the top half cut off. Lovely. That would be the Grand Werewolf, I think. Doesn't look happy. The beasts of the devil will soon be here. I sense them coming, drawn by the holy aura of the Reboot Child. Make sure those werewolves don't interrupt me while I'm praying to sanctify her. Easy for you to say. I may be strong, but there's limits, eh? Okay. Zip on over there. Oh man, this thing is beautiful. Look at that. Here we go. Oh yeah, this thing is beautiful. Keeping them at bay. And dead. Uh-oh. Oh shit, it's taking damage. Alright, let's light this thing. Start wearing him down. Yeah, I've got this. I can do this. Thanks to this awesome axe. This thing is beautiful. Don't need nothing but my axe and a bonfire. Okay, wave two should be taken care of. Let's watch them spawn on the map. 
Whoa, what's... Hold on. Uh, okay. Wave two. So let's watch them on the minimap. They should all be killed by the spike trap. Let's just go ensure that. Actually, no. Let me stay over here. I'm looking at my scent. I don't want my scent to attract the werewolves that are going to spawn next, next level. So let's hope this works. Okay, please do not eat the bait before the other two get there. Please don't. Okay, come on. Watch him. Watch him. I'm, wa I'm watching him. Actually, let me make the map smaller. It's too big. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please don't devour the bait. Shit, there's one left. Okay, I got this. Keep on praying, dude. I have to say, that praying does not sound very pleasant. It sounds kind of like you're disturbing demonic souls or something. But keep on keeping on or whatever. I got this. This might not be blessed, but it is badass. God, can you imagine how powerful this thing would be if it was blessed? Oh god, it's enraged. Whoa, fancy move. And killing blow? Not quite. There we go. Okay, I'm doing pretty good. Yes, yes, I know. Wave three. Now I'm going to go for the uh, Will of the Wisps over here while the werewolves are hopefully taken care of. Hopefully. Alright, where's the Will of the Wisps? Here they are. Come on. Damn it, I missed. How did that miss? And that one's gonna heal. Oh, fucking hell. Really? Both? Okay, I gotta be careful. I need to use my um, enraged blow to kill them. Oh, God. And that one's gonna go heal itself, of course. Okay, I need to kill this thing now. These things are such bitches to kill. I got a bit of time. Okay, it needs to be the killing blow. And killing blow. Okay. I got time. I got time. It's okay. It's going to be the Grand Werewolf with 20 hit points. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow, really? This thing was a lot easier last time. Oh, God. If I get hit once, I'm, like, dead. Might as well scream. Not that it's gonna do anything. Fuck! Really? The last enemy? Seriously? Fuck my life. Why do you even earn XP if you're dead? Like, what's the point of earning XP if you're dead? You don't get to use it. I don't get it. Oh, my God. Alright, I'll be back when I've redone my plan. Okay, I've kept everything the same, except I've added a hanging trap for these Will-o'-the-Wisps, because they are what kicked my ass. Alright, everything's equipped, and let's go. Let's try that again. 
Hmm. I was so close. So freaking close. Blah, blah, blah. Ghost, ghost, pray, pray, chapel, ghost. That was a fail. Let me try not waving in front of their face, but actually hitting them. Get them to fuck off. And boom. Another one down. Another one bats the dust. Well, actually, I guess snow. Piece of shit. Fuck you. I've taken way too much damage here. Really? Okay. Wow, I'm like near dead. Holy shit, this is not looking good. I'm holding on. Alright, it's gonna be one werewolf to fight. I'm just gonna wait here for it. This is going to kill three, unfortunately, not four. Because the bastards become slightly separated. Unless maybe they'll stay together? I don't think they will. Let's see, I'm looking at their... Let's make it bigger. Please don't separate. Uh, uh? No, it activates instantly. Alright, let's wait here for it. You know, I should probably invest in that upgrade that actually heals me. Like 2% of my health every time I kill an enemy or something like that. And that way I can kill little puny wolves and actually heal up. Alright, bring it on. Damn it. I'm really close to dead. Okay. Will of the Wisp time. Do I need to load this? No, I don't. It's loaded. Not close enough. There we go. Come on, you bloody, bloody shits. You fucking fucker mother pieces of... Shit, d d yeah. Just replace that with a good insult. God, I can't even see when they're gonna be over it. Cause the view sucks. And I only got one. Well, at least it killed it. Achievement the Exorcist. And killing blow? Okay. Whew. Still, though, I still have, like, no health. Hmm. 
<laughs> Let's see if I can intimidate it. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna take my potion, which will give me super stamina. Basically, I can constantly attack it, because I'm not gonna run out of stamina. And now it's over. And killing blow, killing blow, killing blow. Yes. And we're done. Ah. <sighs> that was a 10 second beer, but oh well, it was worth it. I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of the poor audio mixing. What did you say? Thank you, ghost. I'm gonna call you Casper. Let's get that little jaunty tune. Yeah! That had to be a lot of money, right? Three bucks, damn! Achievement unlocked, can't touch this, survive... Wait, what did that say? Okay, disappeared. Anyway. Yeah, next level. And a ton of money. Mikan Shaman. Great. Some Mikans are more mystical than others, being able to enter into communication with the moon by shouting magical incantations. The powers that can draw from these rituals are as powerful as they are varied, ranging from teleportation to healing and going as far as sending a lunar meteor shower down upon their enemies. What? A lunar meteor shower? That sounds painful. Mm, cannot be lured with bait. Great. And they can cast spells. Chapter X. I mean, 10. What a nice surprise. You can just go away as far as I'm concerned. Who is it? A lost moose. Bah, I'm sorry my brother has no manners. Not much of a head either. What? My chief sent me to seek the descendants of the priestess Maniwapiquan and Bone O'Carroll to speak with them in our village. Is the village far? Because I don't want to leave Josephine alone for too long. You'll be back very soon. He insulted me, didn't he? He did, huh? No. Saying someone has no head among his people, it's a compliment. It means you're a man of all hearts. <laughs> nice spin. Uh, oh, good. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> oh god, and that's the character I'm playing. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, at the Indian village. Musimash, chief of the Ilnuach tribe. Our tribe wishes to know if you have met those my people call the Maikans. They can change appearance, but most often they take the form of standing wolves. I must have slaughtered two dozen of those hairy fools just since last Sunday. Don't confuse them with ordinary werewolves. The Mykans are not sensitive to the prayers of your white shamans, but they are vulnerable to silver weapons. Also, look at this. It's the amulet of Mechu, the great eagle. Our tribe has used it for centuries to change the direction of the wind in order to lure game into our traps. But you're not going to give them the amulet, are you? Mr. Machishu, I have not asked for counsel. The tribe of the Unuach are making you a gift of this powerful talisman. Take good care of it. But what do they have against us? We haven't done anything to those Makons. They believe you are partly responsible for the evils that are affecting us. According to them, if you are gone, the evil will go too. You already know too much. Leave! He's really a nice guy. The mighty wizard. Thank you for the information and the amulets. I'm just about ready to claw my eyes out because of the quality of the cutscenes and the voice acting and the writing. Ah. <sighs> 
The tutorial movie for The Wayside Cross is now available. Do you want to watch it? Yes, I do, and I will be back when I finished, uh, figured out everything for the night. Okay, welcome back. Um, this day is going to be very hairy, although I guess that's probably true for all of the days, recently. Okay, so now I have the Wayside Cross, which deals damage over time to all enemies around it of a certain type. All ones that are diabolical, which includes the Will-o'-the-Wisps. And for the first wave, that's the only enemy I have. Five Will-o'-the-Wisps. So, I put down a Wayside Cross, so it should do damage over time to all five of them. And I also have a hanging net here, which can help me out if I need it. And that should take care of that. Okay, that's not a big deal. The big deal is in wave two. Yeah. Tons of Mike and Shamans, Mike and Warriors, and five Wolves. This is going to be a bitch. I barely have anything to deal with this. Because I didn't want to spend too much. The vast majority of my action points were used for cutting lumber. We'll see whether that's a good idea in a minute. Or probably more like five. Oh, so also, by the way, I should mention that I now have enough money. Uh, I did have enough money, and I used it to bless my weapon. So my melee weapon is now blessed. Which, unfortunately, will not actually help against any of the enemies that I'm fighting here, except the Will of the Wisps. Yes. Because they're resistant to non-holy personal weapons, but now my weapon is holy. So that should make fighting them a lot easier. Okay, so wave two. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up here. Which is going to get the attention of the wolves. And is also going to get the attention of the Mike and Shaman. Because I blocked this off, so now it has to go around. So they're both going to... I'm, I'm going to be here. And they're both kind of going to converge on me. And undoubtedly detect me. So I'm going to take care of both of them. Hopefully I can take care of the wolves before the Mike and Shaman gets there. However, that's pretty unlikely. So that's why I have this... Uh, this hanging net trap here. To help me out in case I need it. Which I probably will. And by the way, I also have a new skill that greatly increases the damage that hanging nets do. They do like 40-something damage now. Whereas before they did 28. So it's going to make them a lot more effective. So yes, again, will the wisps to begin with. Wave 2, go up here, fight the wolves and the shaman. Now this Macon Warrior... I blocked off with Firewall, so it's going to have to take a very long route. So this thing is going to be the last enemy that I fight. So go up here, kill these two groups. Then, there's these two to deal with. A Macon Warrior and a Macon Shaman. Now... They're going to different places. However, I think by shouting, or maybe even my scent, now that I can move the direction of the wind, I should be able to get both of their attentions, I hope. Otherwise, I'm screwed. And hopefully I can lure them into this hanging net at some point if I need it. And then just kill this one on its own, which shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, so yeah, you can see my plan is not exactly ironclad. First one, kill the Will of the Wisps. Will of the Wisps. God, it's so hard to say that. Will of the Wisps. Here, at the hanging, or wayside cross. Then in wave two, come up here. Kill the wolves and the shaman at the same time. Possibly using the net. Then try to get both of these attentions, the attention of both of these, and have them hopefully go under this hanging net at some point. Mess them up there. And then at the end, come down here and take care of this. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Alright, I've got my blessed King's Double Bit Axe, which is beautiful. I have the Egg of Mechu, or Mishu, whatever it's pronounced. Which will allow me to change the direction of the wind. And, oh yeah. I also bought the Wolf Fur Vest, which protects one hit, points, uh, one hit point per hit, so that'll help me. And let's go. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die. Yeah, I'm going to die. It looks like the forest's on fire. That's a good omen. We asked you to leave, and you are still here. Why? We're not budging. Our sister's sick. We can't leave her here. This is your last chance. Leave or die. This is your last chance, too. You leave here on your own steam, or else I'll return you to your mother in a little package of ground meat tied up with a tail. What's your choice, friend? Well, that solves that. What? What is this? Okay, thanks for the movie. 
the egg of Metshu. You now possess a very powerful magical artifact that allows you to control the direction of wind itself, the egg of Metshu. To use the amulet, simply use the item from your pack by pressing the corresponding number. Use your mouse to orient the wind in whatever direction you wish. Once the wind is in its desired direction, simply move your hero to break your control over it. Okay, thank you for that interrupting movie. All right. I'm gonna pray. Literally, I'm gonna pray at the Wayside Cross as soon as the, uh, as soon as I get here. For now, since I have a second, let me try this thing out. Uh, three. Okay, it's kind of awkward. Oh, I need to wait a while to reuse it. God damn it. All right. I get it. Hey, dudes. What's up? All right. Oh, God. So many fireballs. Okay, that was surprisingly easy. Yeah, this blessed weapon is very nice. Okay, let's go. This is the hard part. This is loaded, right? Yes, it is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. I need to take care of these right now. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Wow, that actually worked. Damn. Did I kill it? Holy shit, I actually killed it. That went far better than I ever thought possible. Okay. Now I'm going to get their attention. There we go. Now, they should start coming to me now, right? Yes. Here they come. Now I'm going to get them under the hanging net. Oh god, he's casting a spell. What the fuck? Are you serious? I totally got it. What happened to the other one? Is it going back? What is it doing? This is not good. Where's my mana? I guess I used it all up. I mean, mana. <laughs> Stamina. What is that on the ground? That's where something last detected me. Alright, something's taking damage. Not good. I need to go get his attention now. Alright, stamina potion. Let's go. Let's go. God damn it, fucking... <sighs> there goes my stamina potion. Ah! It teleported. Okay, just follow me, okay? Just follow me. I have something to show you. It's a certain hanging net. I think you're gonna like it. Actually, I need to reload my weapon. Shit. I can't activate that until I reload my weapon. Well. That's out of the picture. Thankfully, this thing seems to have, like, AoE effects. Which is nice.
Good, I'm very, very close to death, though. Extraordinarily close. I sure wish I could shoot. <sighs> okay, um... Hold on, I've got an idea. What if I climb up and reload while I'm up on the tower? Come on, come on, they're knocking it down, by the way. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, fuck! There goes that. Um, one more hit and I'm dead, I think. At least I reloaded. Did I ser- Did I hit something? Or did it just fucking teleport? Nope! Health potion. I'm fucked. I mean, I'll be fine because of the health potion, but I totally fucked that up. Two hanging nets that just didn't go towards hurting enemies at all. Wonderful. You know, it'd be a lot easier to tell when to use the hanging nets if it wasn't for the fact that the view is so bad. I mean, I'm not giving the game all the responsibility. I messed up, no doubt about that. But it would be a lot easier if I could actually see the ground properly. Don't cast a spell. If you're really good at kiting, you can take very little damage fighting these enemies. You just have to be really careful. You know, I actually kind of totally forgot I could actually dodge. I've always just been sprinting. Whoops. It actually seems to be more stamina efficient just to sprint instead of roll. But hold on, let me try this. Let me do this. Ah! How much damage is it taking? No, I'm not sure. Obviously not very much. Okay, there's the end of the night. I it was full of fail, but hey, I lived. That's the important part. I messed up, let's see, where did I go wrong? I messed up two nets, and I ended up having to use two potions, which ideally I wouldn't have had to use at all. But other than that, it went okay. All right, next level. 150, nice, pretty good amount of money. I've got four bucks now. I can probably buy a new pistol at this point. Uh, not pistol, a new rifle. Yeah. Alright, well, actually, before I continue, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Since I think if I click continue, it's probably just going to start the next day. Um, all right, all right, let's see what happens. What's going to happen? Because it doesn't actually let me quit from that finish screen. So I guess I should probably progress to a point where I can. See, like, chap this, chapter 11. This is where it's going to resume when I open this up. So can I skip this? I can. Okay, yeah, so I'll just, we'll watch that again at the beginning of the next episode. So I hope everyone has enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.